Uh, let's go uh, to Carter Braxton Worth mm. of Worth Charting to see what he sees in his own fancy charts. Carter. <laughs> yeah, well, an important point that Santoli made, of course, is that the sequencing and the patterns are all the same, the levels being different within the curve. But let's look at them quickly. And starting with um, a long term, the 30 year, and then moving, we have this well defined uptrend. And the question is they all have that top. It's the 21st of October, almost 10 months ago. And do we or don't we exceed those highs? One. And then if we do, do we exceed them in a meaningful way or is it a head fake only to then fall back again? I'm in the latter camp that we not necessarily get there, but if we do, you don't get much higher. So 30 year, let's look at 10. Let's look at five. You can just roll through the charts. It's all the same setup. Um, obviously, the two year um, is closest to its uh, former high. And, and that is, in many ways, the one that is, of course, um, uh, uh, acted on, so to speak. Uh, but what's important to say this is that Fed funds rate exactly a year ago was two and a half percent. And Wall Street was looking for four six from 100 economists. We're now at five five. I think just as typically all of us can quite often be behind the facts, we're now um, ahead of the facts. So here's the two and 10 year spread. You have a perfect double bottom. I mean, literally within one basis point, which is incredible. And we're almost up against that downtrend line. Um, my thinking here, this does not go much higher. Oh, all right. Um, and Carter, before we let you go, we've been giving you props all show long about your your call to be long Amazon and, and at Apple into earnings. What's the update here at this point? Yeah, well, how about here's an update. Whew. <laughs> <laughs> so just stick with it. Yeah, stick with it.